Hi, I'm Kevin Cameron, and one of the proud claims made by the Japanese motorcycle industry is that much of the horsepower gain that has been achieved since the 1980s has come from the reduction of friction. That's a good thing because uh, any power recovered from friction can be used for intentional purposes such as rapid acceleration. As Mr. Honda once put it, primarily essentials of the motorcycle consist in the speed and thrill. He said that in 1959 in the manual for the Benley 125 Twin. I have before me the CBR's crankshaft. This is a flat crankshaft because it has two up and two down. The crank pins are at 180 degrees from each other. That means that each of these twins, the pistons are alternating. When that happens, when this piston is going down, it pushes air into the crankcase. When this piston is going up, it draws air out of the crankcase underneath itself. All right. Here's the crankcase, the upper half. Here are the four cylinders. These are normally blocked with pistons going up and down in them. When they go up and down, the air that they push down here in the crankcase has to go from this one to this one and then back again and then back again every 180 degrees. If it's hard for that air to get from one to the other, if there's resistance, that will resist the motion of the pistons. And in fact, it's very easy to lose several horsepower at high RPM, pumping air back and forth inside the crankcase. Here are two things that have been done about that in this particular engine. First of all, a series of little holes, 27 millimeters in diameter, have been made between the cylinders all the way down this crankcase. There are five of them. That makes it easier for the air to flow from one, from under one piston to under the other one as they alternate at 180 degrees to one another. There are also gaps here in the crankcase to let that air back and forth. But when very high RPM is involved, it's better not to have any of this loss. And there are two basic approaches to that that are used in MotoGP and in Formula One. In Honda's V4s, they divide the crankcase into two halves, each with its own scavenge oil pump. They are sealed from one another, so the piston motion of one V-twin is not communicated to the crankcase of the other V-twin. So when those pistons rise and fall, instead of pumping air along the crankshaft, they're simply compressing it and then expanding it. That is a loss-free process. So that greatly reduces crankcase windage loss, and Honda calls it semi-dry sump. The other approach is used by uh, Yamaha, among others, and that is to provide a crankcase evacuation pump, which pumps the crankcase down to a lower pressure, so the density of the air that remains in the crankcase is so low that its pumping loss is greatly reduced. Either way, they're recovering free horsepower. And these holes and other gaps that are engineered into this engine are intended to do the same thing for this production engine.